one of you welcome to global online and yes i hope things are fine now we can start the session for the day uh am i audible clearly to everyone can you people hear me clearly i just those students who have joined can you just revert me back am i audible clearly uh yes good evening can you just let me know that i'm audible so that we can okay fine 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 oh, yes thank you very much uh, thank you for your patience okay without any delay we will start the class because i have planned so many things today okay fine so welcome to global online and welcome to nta ugc net paper 1 preparation for 2022 batch uh yes from monday to saturday we are live and this is our ninth lecture of communication with the topic mass media communication and uh, yes before we start ahead uh, it's a, a quick uh, information about the ugc net preparation kit for you all that is consisting of 100 plus live lectures 100 plus video lectures notes in the form of pdf previous year answer uh, sorry previous year question papers with the solution key and after completion of the syllabus we will be conducting the mock test which will be covering more than 2500 mcqs for any contact you can please uh, details you can please get in touch with the contact number before 23rd of feb there is 20% off on the fees now the most important part is this now see today we are you know that very well we have updated our app and we have came to global online the app uh, uh, symbol you can see very well a uh, logo as well as you can go on the google play store and download the app now today you people can do one thing it's not going to take one much much time today i'm going to take all the topic of mass media now how much topic you have understood or like for example whether you have understood the class or not what was your level of attention what i taught and based on that on the app i have put the questions now it is free of cost you just have to go you have to download the app on the app there is an option called as store and in the store once you go you can see mass media communication questions of today's lecture so it's not going to take more than 10 minutes not even 10 minutes it's going to take only less time you can just try it give it a try so that you can understand that what level of questions can come what level of attention you need to give in the class and based on that how your preparation strategy should go on okay so yes uh, now let's start without any delay because of technical error already we are a bit late so let's start the session for the day so we are we are on communication unit so total number of questions for this unit is 5 total marks is 10 so for each uh, unit oh, sorry for each question you have two marks now the syllabus is in front of you that is communication which topic we have already completed effective communication we have done barriers to com effective communication we have done mass media and society half part i have done in the last class just the objectives and importance and today the remaining part we will be completing okay so yes uh, yeah anilam i was about to ask this at the end because you know already we have lost 20 minutes and that i don't want that negative things again in your mind it's okay see a uh, little bit of efforts you may need so paper 2 you have scored very less i guess yes so now with the paper 1 little bit boost and paper 2 you have to start from now itself okay equal importance should be given to paper 2 so that thing you have to keep in mind very well okay so yes uh, let's start this mass media and society now as i promised you all today i'll be completing the topic of mass media and society and tomorrow we will be doing a topic again on models of communication as i promised to you some students were little bit confused because i took models of communication and in installment so tomorrow i'm going to give you a complete gist on models of communication a complete entire revision like so tomorrow will be the last day for communication you unit so don't miss the class tomorrow very well okay so just make make sure that 55 in paper 1 and 62 in paper 2 shaili yes i think paper 1 you need to i mean to say those who have scored less than 60 has to really start with their preparation very well don't worry 
uh, we will see this is you know just two days back it has happened again the same things in your mind so i don't want you to get disturbed it's okay now we have to start from the scratch and we are there to help you out so don't worry uh, with today's question you can understand what level of preparation also we are planning for you people so don't 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 give up if you give up that is that is not an actually positive quality so just just keep prepare yourself best and give your best in this cycle that's all nothing now nothing else you know don't uh, regret on your past just keep moving now okay fine so now let's start with the first topic that is the first thing which we are going to do is uh, first of all we have to we are going to compare between social media and traditional media okay now the reason to bring this comparison is that some of the questions which i have seen that is previous year questions i was just going through so some questions you know are based not directly but indirectly on this part so let's little bit have an idea how the social media differs um with a traditional media okay uh, those who are all putting up the messages i'm not ignoring it uh, the only thing is that first of all 20 minutes we have lost and uh, i have really planned well today's lecture and the reason i'm not picking up your marks is that i don't want you to get you know uh, two days maybe you have thought a lot so i don't want you to again go into that phase so i just want you to get motivated and start walking ahead that's all okay so yes um annapurna uh, i will i will help you out let's first now concentrate on the topic i will come up with your doubt don't worry okay let's let's start the class yes so first of all everyone no don't worry i you start putting your doubts i will take all the doubts without fail once i complete my target for the day okay because i have based i have made questions on that so i just don't want little bit of distraction some students must be must be waiting eagerly okay so yes so difference between social media and traditional media first of all <clears throat> social media is a form of electronic communication that enables the user to create and share information now see now please be be careful now i have started my lecture if if you are not concentrative now you will miss something uh, on based on which i have made the question so just be little you know careful now see the sentence social media is the one which enable the user to create and share information ideas message and content so like for example share so it means social so for example you may get a question on this also what is now they will not give you social media they will give you what is um, the communication um, communicated message is based on what see now we know that they are based on information they are based on sharing they are based on ideas they are based on content so if you combine them all you call them as social product so communicated message is considered as what instead of giving so many options they can give you only one option that is either it is what type of product it is it is nothing but it is a social product okay now traditional media the contemporary it includes contemporary modes of communication such as television radio newspaper magazine so like for example e connect is social media and rest all comes under what traditional media fine now social media is a two way conversa conversation two way conversation is the heart of social media marketing whereas traditional media delivers only single way so that they have you know there is the the uh, year in traditional media it's just focusing on one way one impact okay it is not considering about two ways social media gives a lot of freedom over creation of information and information sharing whereas when we talk about um i mean to say only the sender when we talk about traditional media only the sender decides what to publish telecast or broadcast while the receiver always receive the information so it is only you know it is the majority of the uh, things are in the hand of uh, you know uh, in the hand of what in the hand of uh, sender whereas in social media both of them gets an equal platform now traditional media is designed uh okay sorry my last sentence is just uh, way out uh, this one it is just it, it has been interchange so traditional media is designed for mass consumption which means they are targeted at mass consumers whereas social media when we talk they involve targeted they are involving two way communication which means the message can be addressed to the targeted audience 
targeted audience now if you remember keep this uh, meaning in your mind okay social environment or targeted audience if you remember models of communication we have done so we have understood in one of the model target audience i have told you to write the keywords so now you can connect so in in case if social media is to be linked with one of the theory of communication which is that you may get a question on that also okay so yes social media e connect traditional media all contemporary forms social media give importance to two way communication traditional media emphasizes on single way social media tag at uh, uh, the objective is to target the audience whereas traditional media is to target you know the consumers with you know mass consumption so that is the difference over here uh, so th just make sure that you understand now here as i said one question i felt which was which is there in one of the previous year question paper and i have told you the question i'm not going to repeat that because i just want you to understand what level of concentration you are giving now one more thing it is uh, i'm just sorry i have not uh, had given the heading for this so one topic i mean to say now again in previous year question papers when i was reading theories of mass media or mass communication you can tell mass media so on this there was one question on gatekeeping so there are four theories which i have listed down so you can get any question so if you remember in one of the paper okay gatekeeping was one word okay but they have linked it in a different way now what is the meaning of gatekeeping gatekeeping if if you remember i have done in my pre one of the recent lecture only gatekeeping is nothing but a process through which information is filtered okay for dissemination whether for publication or whether it is used for broadcasting or internet or some other mode so gatekeeping is nothing but it's like monitoring so what to be forwarded and what to be discarded or eliminated so that actually is one of the theory of mass media but they didn't give the word as theory they just it just wrote that communication is uh, playing the role of what as in gatekeeper the mass media is playing the role of what as a gatekeeper so you should know any form the questions can come so now let's understand this theory one by one uh, i have only not given the heading so i'm just writing over here it's nothing but theories okay so let's understand one by one all the theories so first is limited effect now what is limited effect in case if you feel that i am bit fast just tell me openly i will just normalize the things okay now what is the meaning of limited effect now limited effect it means that now here is it is a viewpoint of the viewers now according to some authors also it said that the view of the i mean to say media one of the powerful uh, source has limited effect this says that media message has not strong impact and its effects are limited it depends on audience how they take the media message now what does it means it means that limited effects theory is an approach that's the reason i have highlighted here in bold it is an approach that claims the media have limited effects on their audience on the society now when i say audience on the society it shows that the audience know what exactly they need to extract from media message so now when it talks about when it talks about li limited effect this this particular topic they can put put for statement question what they can say that you know what exactly is the and they will not put as in theory because you immediately will understand so they will put a question as mass media okay has a limited effect what does it indicates so limited effect it means what so according to the theory limited effect it means what it depends on the audience it means audience have that amount of control power what exactly they have to take and what exactly they have to uh, you know they have to el eliminate so that is called as limited effect okay second one is gatekeeping so what i told you about gatekeeping gatekeeping is nothing but filtering filtering of the messages so whatever you want to uh, i mean to say whatever you want to convey whatever messages you want to convey before that the filtering is done that is called as one of the gatekeeping process it's actually one theory okay now class dominant theory now what is this class dominant theory now this is a mechanism now what is mechanism it is nothing but a tool of social control okay now the dominant ideology frames that how the majority of the population 
things about the society their place in the society and their connection to the social class now please remember i will again repeat this thing it means that they have i mean to say the majority of the population things about the nature of the society like class depending upon the class dominance like you know how what place they have in the society like their maybe their class is you know not considered as the uh, the one major, major it is like you know you can say that elite class you can say so that this all classes are depending upon what this class classes are depending upon the dominance theory so it means that how you can get a sentence over here or how you can get a question so what does the if if a population or if the majority of the population finds tries to find their place in the society so what connect they do have with media communication so they have a class dominant it means they are depending upon the nature of society their place is decided and then we lastly have a cultural theory now cultural theory claims people interact with media to con- create their own meanings out of the images and messages they receive it means culture plays an important role so this theory see audiences as playing an active role rather than passive role in relation to mass media so like for example for their cultural dominance they are uh, taking the past Uh, they are taking the part in mass media so now see all the theories we have learned so quickly i will just tell you that what exactly it means limited effect it means the power is in the hands of audiences gatekeeping it means information is to be filtered and con- uh, passed on class dominant it means your place in the society uh, and your connection with the social class uh, through which you decide which class is dominant okay and culturist it means uh, for your own meaning or i mean to say if in order to create your own perspective you try to take the help of mass media that is how the theory works out okay so i hope this is very clear as i said some um uh okay uh, fine uh, neelam see it's not about the difference between set set is the state level if you go for any national level your it has dominance okay so it doesn't mean that state does not have dominance state and national level both has dominance and it is definitely important for you for your professional career so you on thing is that you have already prepared your 70% of the journey 30% you need to push so uh, don't go with this thoughts it can demoralize you that's what i can say uh, then uh, man uh, manoharan yes this process normalization the process is called as normalization percentile uh, yeah commerce was one of the normalization pattern commerce and english and i even i guess uh, one regional bengali also some papers were normalization now what is the meaning of normalization actually a very good video has been uh, put by zeba ma'am but still in just 2 minutes i will tell you normalization it means papers were conducted in different shifts and out of those shifts one of the shift or some other shift had some easy paper some in one of the shift the paper was very difficult so if they would have uh, gone with a normal process which they did for other papers then only one shift students were going to gain out of it so in order to have justice for every student for commerce they came up with percentile that is called as normalization in fact they have done justice they otherwise you know it was it was it was not uh, correct if they would have gone with a normal pattern because in that only one class or one shift of the paper had students would have been you know passed the examination so it is nothing mm, difficult it is just percentile method so how they are calculating percentile it means that whatever uh, uh, numbers you have scored like for example there are suppose there are 500 students who sat for commerce the highest student who score highest no below that upon total number of total su- uh, students who were appeared in 200 and that basis they counted the percentile uh, and from that they have taken the percentile with a you know normalization process so yes fine i hope it is uh, clear now i didn't take much time because you know some students won't like it so in case if you want on thursday le- lectures or subscriber lecture or i'll just take 10 minutes some other day or tomorrow in, if possible and we will sort it out okay yes now let's go ahead now now we have completed c we have completed first of all what is the 
meaning of or difference between traditional and mass social media then we understood the theories theories are important because there were questions based on theories not direct questions all indirect questions now let's understand certain important things with reference to uh, communication and education now remember i have not taken any initiatives uh, digital initiatives because digital initiatives we are going to cover under ict digital initiatives and education so that is same some i have covered in teaching aptitude some i have covered in higher education but still all together i'll cover again in ict unit so now i'm not wasting time on that i'm just focusing on some important part okay so vast channel so first of all a uh, vast channel of consortium of educational communication under ugc okay and gyan darshan okay of durdarshan are some of the efforts which are taken from the viewpoint of education gyan vani is one of the educational radio channel by ignu that is indira gandhi national open university so let's have because there are questions on gyan vani gyan darsh uh, dhara gyan darshan so we should know about it very well okay now uh, vas uh, so vas channel that is a vas higher education channel is dead channel sorry is dedicated to student studying their degree courses in universities and colleges okay now just a minute i just it went okay so vas is one of the higher education channel which is telecasted by consortium of education ugc on swayam prabha that is direct to home through dd free dish which was launched in the year 26th of jan 2004 keep please keep this years in mind there can be a question on this gyanwani the educational fm radio station in several cities of india which was launched in the year march 2000 okay so this 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 see there, there are some simple questions and a pattern has been seen so somewhere i'm saying this is important so that just keep that much in mind because we have a lot to learn very important things then coming to ignu that is ignu durdarshan telecast programs which is designed mainly for distance learner which was started in the year 1991 now durdarshan initially they used to telecast it on monday wednesday and friday from 6:30 to 7 am through the national network of durdarshan with an aim now this is important this particular sentence is important aim of durdarshan ignu durdarshan telecast that is tele counseling to the students of open universities in remote area so this please keep in mind they want they may not ask you dates and timings but the intention or the aim so that was to provide tele counseling to the students specially focusing remote areas owing to the encouraging response in after the great response a positive response the frequency of this project was increased to 5 days a week and this program is very popular so the main aim was tele counseling which gained popularity and now it is based on you know 5 days a program fine now uh when we talk about gyan darshan so gyan darshan basically an educational channel that is started in the year 2000 by ministry of human resource development now you can say as ministry of education plus information and broadcasting prasar bharati and ignu when the one who had launched jointly gyan darshan okay on 26th of jan 2000 an exclusively educational tv channel now see any time the collaboration is not been asked okay so please remember ignu ministry of education and information and broadcasting prasar bharti so please keep a my please keep in mind the uh, collaboration also because till date they have not touched this question ignu was given the responsibility to be a nodal agency that is a mediator for linking up the or for linking up that is as i said as a mediator it started out a 2 hour daily transmission test transmission channel for students the duration was increased to 9 hours so from 2 hours to 9 hours so you can imagine the response okay now this time slot transmission was further increased due to the good response to 16 hours so 2 9 and to 16 and then later on coming to what 19 okay 19 hours within one year of launching that is 26th of jan 2001 it started in 2000 in within a one year it became a 24 hours channel for educational program so it started with 2 hours so this at least this you keep main journey started with 2 hours but now it has been converted into a 24 hours channel okay now yes gyan dhara there, there was a question see i'm just 
focusing on this so yes there was a question on all this so you have to be careful when it comes you uh, because gyan dhara again you know a very uh, unexpected year the question came out so you should be very clear on it so gyan dhara is nothing but an internet audio counseling service which is offered by ignu students can listen to the live discussion by the teachers and the experts on the topic of the day and interact with them through telephone email or a chat mode when the live sessions are not on gyan vani the delhi is made available on this platform so gyan dhara streaming is available for internet users anywhere in the world important events are broadcasted by gyan vani which are relayed by gyan vani stations using gyan dhara feed so gyan vani is nothing again so gyan dhara and gyan vani the difference is gyan vani is an radio chan station whereas gyan dhara is an internet counseling service which is offered by the teachers or by the experts fine now eklavya again a technology channel which is a distance learning joint initiative between iit and ignu which was inaugurated on 26th of jan 2003 very important is the year and the objective the objective is to bring to the audience the actual iit classrooms virtually at their doorstep so basically to make ensure that again you can say that to to ensure that the digital divide okay is you know is uh, decreasing so that the, the students should not suffer suffer because of digital divide with that intention itself a clever technological chan technology channel was initiated fine now i know now certain things like for example uh before i scroll some slides okay now here the thing which i have listed out is the details with television i know certain things may not come up but important points i have already highlighted i have bolded it okay so one is regarding the indian television another is the major project educational projects in india next one which we are going to go is you know this project after the project site because on site there are definitely questions coming up i know that some of the information which i have added is additional but now we can't take any chance when it comes to you know to the final paper so we have to keep certain things in our mind and these slides are very 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 factual okay so maybe like for example little bit of uh, 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 slagginess will you may feel because it is you know i am i will be reading out i am explaining also but most of the things are here factual so certain parts no i have just added up additional which i will tell you to read because as such there was no question till date on this whatever questions are there already i have highlighted them very well so when it comes to the indian beginning television first came to india named as durdarshan that was on september 15 1959 as television network tele, sorry national television network of india which is important which i have already highlighted the first telecast started on september 15 1959 in new delhi after a gap of 13 years second television station was established in bombay that is in the year 1972 and by 1975 five more television stations were started with the respective places which i have written as well as i have highlighted also that is at shrinagar amritsar punjab kolkata madras and lucknow so this war you know this things are important this things you have to clear uh, keep it very crystal clear in your mind and i know these are the factual things so it will not stay in your memory for long you have to write it down somewhere under communication topic okay so for many years the transmission was black and white television industry got the necessary boost in 8 uh, sorry 1980s where durdarshan introduced color uh, tv during 1982 ancient games so now this initial part is very very important which i have highlighted also the last point no question is seen i have just en included so that you can read it properly once i will circulate the notes to you okay but don't ignore it i am not saying that i am not reading because there is nothing important i just don't want you to get that much burden eyes but go through a a the scanning of this particular par, uh, point you have to do it fine then coming next to major educational projects in india so the first was the 
secondary school television project 1961 which started now this project was designed for the secondary student school of del secondary school students of delhi now which is this is next point is very important with the aim okay now how you will get a question secondary school television project what was the aim to improve the standard of teaching in view of shortage of laboratories space equipment dearth of qualified teachers in delhi and this project was started on experimental basis okay now uh, when we talk about this experimental basis for what for teaching physics chemistry english hindi now here definitely no subjects okay will be asked only what was the aim of secondary school television project the name of the project the year of the project and what is aim that you have to keep in mind so it's secondary school television project was with an aim that the standard of teaching should be improved with shortage of resources now what were that resources laboratory space equipment and uh, qualified teachers in order to uh, fill the gap for this this project was started okay the lectures were syllabus based and were telecasted in school hours as a part and parcel of school activities so this was one of the initiative which was started uh, with respect to education projects in india later there was delhi agriculture television and krishi darshan uh, yes there was there was a question on krishi darshan also okay so the project name krishi darshan was initiated on 26th of jan 1966 for communicating in educational television india with reference to agriculture she krishi okay so it is something related to what it is related to agriculture information for the farmers and this also was done on the experimental basis again this is not going to come 80 selected villages this is not will be the part so you just have to remember krishi darshan was something uh, sorry was an information related to uh, agriculture for the indian farmers which started in the year 1966 that is 26th of jan 1966 see i am very clear like for example some students you know like you you don't have to sit and put everything in your mind though the slides are there there is a content there are 10 10 lines but out of that also i am telling you selective things which you have to note down in your handy notes and which only you have to keep in mind okay experimental was successful and therefore it gained and substantial you know uh, sorry and there was a substantial gain in the information regarding agricultural practices even ignu has you know certified this okay now next stand started was satellite intra instructional television experiment now yes on site you have seen a questions based on full form you have seen the be question based on year okay but rest of the things are not asked so let's have a clear understanding here also i'll mark you what what things you have to keep in mind and those students who take handy notes what you have to remember so this was one of the largest techno social experiment in human communication and it was commissioned for the villagers and the primary school going children which was selected from 16 states still it is not important what important sentence i'll tell you sentence number 2 and sentence number 3 are very important it started on 1st of august 1975 for a period of 1 year in 6 states which are shortlisted go through it once rajasthan karnataka orissa bihar andhra and madhya pradesh you can make an acronym for this so that it becomes easier for you to remember objective which is very 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 important so it was basically an experiment which which was conducted to study the process of existing rural communication the role of television as a medium of education and the process of change brought by community television in the rural structure now these two types of telecast are given that was developmental ed educational programs and the school programs but again nothing will be coming out of here so you just have to you know just read it once as i said point number 2 okay it talks about its establishment point number 3 it talks about objective and point the last point that is site experiment showed the new technology made it possible to reach number of people in the remote areas so remote area was easy to you know attract with the help of this initiative 
so the role of television was appreciated and it was accepted in rural primary schools as an educational force okay just to inculcate the the importance of education this program or this experiment really played an important role so now see now if you see now the questions you know which was an educational force or which experiment worked out as an educational force which experiment uh, was conducted which has successfully gained maximum reach of the people so some type of questions like that you have to be ready with okay try to experiment lot of things because you need to prepare from all the points when it comes to uh, your final examination now okay now coming to post site now obviously this was one of the successful uh, initiative which was only implemented in six states but after this okay what happened you know the target group was you know considered especially especially for the village of rajasthan where the program was initiated in march 1977 okay the objective was to familiarize with the rural masses bring to bring national and emotional integration now see on this also there is one question formed okay like for example they have not given any direct question how they linked this you know the media i mean to say um, the main uh, i mean to say appeal uh, towards the population of media is with with reference to what it's with reference to emotion okay so where it can be like for example even if you take traditional media even if you take modern media or social media in media or you can say media gets you know addressed what are the issues which are more uh, addressed by this type of media is the emotional form okay so emotional integration was one of the actually uh, objective of site the same question they have made but they have made in a very different style so if you have skipped this point you know you when you read it you connect yes emotional integration is one of the objective whether it was you know of site experiment or it is media but it was one of the ob objective so yes so the site post site project was again to familiarize the rural masses to bring national and emotional integration with the help of media and to make rural children aware of importance of education and healthy environment so environment also you know was targeted since then okay it's not about only our uh, millennium development programs or sustainable development programs but the uh, awareness was there since long fine now national television satellite project now yes this was a project which started in the year 1982 in sat you have questions on in sat also in previous year question papers the aim was to make rural masses aware of latest development of agriculture productivity health and hygiene so if you see now see now you have to remember you have to make you know handy notes when you are making when you talk about site it reached remote people with importance of what if you see this last sentence itself i told with importance of educational force where if i talk about insat it was aiming at agricultural productivity health and hygiene which targeted a school going children okay that was selected village that is the project which was experimented in the year 1983 it started in the year 1982 but the experiment was conducted in 1983 but you remember the aim the aim was agriculture productivity health and hygiene sanitation you can keep in mind okay now yes now with reference to higher education yes higher education television project was also been developed that was in the year 1984 now why this was developed because this was targeting university students were the beneficiary of the project see because see we saw uh, school projects also we saw rural projects also so what about higher education so for higher education also the project was uh, i mean to say brought up and that was called as higher educational higher education television project which was uh, on floor by 1984 and yes the beneficiary was the university students now what this project looked at so the ugc in collaboration with insat started educational television project popularly known as now this keep in this in mind very well country wide classroom that was uh, initiated on 15th of august 1984 with an aim now this is very very important to upgrade to update and to enrich the quality of the education while extending their reach see like for example uh, it was basically what it was basically about uh, 
school educate project was already started but now if you are extending the aim should be you know upgradation of quality education under this program one hour program in english on a variety of subject is presented with an objective of general enrichment of undergraduates educated public and teachers as well so it is basically uh, talking about the social uh, aspects of curriculum it means how to connect it or application based so that one hour is focused an inter university consortium for educational communication along with 20 audio visual media communication research center was set up by ugc now what was the aim over here it is to you know uh, to get some programs some programs were imported from other countries and uh, edited to suit the requirement of indian students so that indian students can automatically you know uh, get those programs so certain addition was made depending upon the or uh, as per the capability of the indian students to make it comfortable and this was one of the project which was very popular not only among students teachers but also about in the form of other learners so in higher education uh, i mean to say with respect to higher education because higher education is one of your unit so this this concept will be important so you have to just remember this very well okay now yes so i'm extremely sorry now i'll just you know now i'll look at the message bhumish you have deleted the messages what exactly you were trying to tell us so can you i don't know why you deleted the messages uh i hope everyone has you know today little bit we got disturbed i i'm just i have missed that slide i'm i'll come to the next slide also but yes this are the important things with reference to mass media junith you have written please take a detailed session on uh, digital initiatives yes if you see in teaching aptitude also in higher education also i have taken and see let me tell you one thing uh, many of the students were very much you know a little bit under the thought process that results will be out if they clear so things were not started with you know in a form of uh, Uh, very uh, speed wise i'm i'm what i mean to say it's it's in a form of you know uh, get set go we were just waiting you know for the students to get into the results get understand the results to come up with in case if there is something you know something negative form so that's the reason we were not able to uh, come up with all these things but don't worry now as i said very well that we are going to start i mean so i'm going to start everything in detail theory though i have explained but the moment when i start and yes uh, everyone was asking about mcqs and marathon which are going to start very soon because theory see this theory you know like for example afterwards also in case if you have missed any point you can come and watch the theory once and you can go through it okay so now once the theory is completed when the mcqs will start for mcqs also don't worry that we will just focus on mcqs whenever there is a concepts in mcq like for example suppose a concept of higher education television project come so i won't say that okay you go back and refer my video no i'll be taking that time also we will keep a target of 20 mcqs on daily basis and after the completion of the uh, unit again we will go for maha marathon so you will be having enough of uh, practice if you want to see a demo small demo about it as i told you all the students today whatever i have taught i was not looking at the chat box because i didn't wanted you to get distracted on whatever i have taught you can just see it is free of cost if whatever is free you can please take the leverage of it so you can go on the app in the store there is a store option in the store i have just uploaded only question for today's lecture so you will understand that okay you have to do preparation so if you miss your if even if you are in the live class it doesn't mean that you know you are 100% attentive so if from the questions you will understand okay what type of attention you need to give in the live class now see one everyone will accept that the level of ugc is increasing day by day you can't even imagine you know how the things are coming up but we are trying to do an analysis i'm trying to read the questions i'm trying to prepare the content so that you know at least we will ensure that you are definitely cracking it but yes now the major thing which we have noted students have done little bit carelessness towards paper 2 so that's the reason if you remember that day also i have told in my live class please do not neglect your paper 2 and think that last one month you will only focus on paper 2 don't do that this will land up you in the problem 
so please give equal in, in, uh, importance to paper 2 yes one of the student has messaged me saying that uh, students those who are working it is not possible for them to study for 3 hours see i will tell you one thing in the very first lecture of mine i have told little sacrifice you have to do so i'm not telling that you know sacrifice i know if you do not get proper sleep it will affect your productivity at work you will it will affect everything in life but i said that start with small baby steps today if you sit for 1 hour after a week at least increase 15 minutes after that at least in increase 15 minutes you will be shocked to see the result automatically one fine day you are sitting for 3 hours without any you know without any uh, any burden and uh, one more thing this is this is very silly you may think but yes do not sit up with a burden on your head for studies bygones are bygones okay start with fresh i have to study i have to study if you keep on nagging that no you are already starting with a negative mindset so don't do that it is not going to help at all so please uh, students have cracked i mean to say we have uh, students which who are sitting for the regular class in my from july to december some students have messaged me you know they missed some classes but they didn't miss they said that they saw the lectures later because they had targeted their timetable and students have really cracked some of them have cracked as assistant professor some of them have crashed jrf so what i'm telling is that one of the student i just she has messaged on the channel also she was also one of the regular student so please um, ensure that trust us see it's only the thing which are we are asking you to trust and definitely we will ensure that your time or productivity will not go waste but you have to uh, trust us with not only our lectures but also your self time also and uh, please ensure that you will see a drastic change in everything i mean to say uh, from the start i am going uh, practice questions and um, maha marathon uh, see even we equally take efforts so obviously the efforts which we are taking that is just for your enhancement so just trust us for for a cycle and you will definitely see a change and today i can see the drastic change because for theory lectures more than 25 students were not there and today the number has even reached 45 so it means now students are taking it seriously but have a consistency have a discipline everything will fall in place you need to promise yourself that yes you are going to do it okay ashreya i before i could read you people are deleting the messages how will i understand yamuna also shreya also has deleted uh yes don't worry neelam you have that you know see you have you definitely can now set has given you more motivation so even in your um, paper uh, i mean to say in this coming cycle you will do it okay don't worry you will do it and uh, trust us and uh, the reason i'm saying trust us is that you know because we have decided some strategies for you so you have to trust us there is uh, if you want to you know definitely clear so you have to ensure that you are with us okay more than we we require your assistance and support okay fine so now the last slide again this is because this is a slide which i i don't have to teach but i have prepared this for you people wherein all the social networking sites okay the launch year their founders i have definitely wrote founders because in set examination also this will be helpful for you okay, uh, okay shreya no no worry see we were expecting is and we know the result how it is okay so just uh, i mean to say leave the things behind and now we have to start with scratch but this time we should learn from our mistakes we should not do any mistakes which we have done you know earlier so just ensure that you are doing the things best okay and definitely your hard work will not uh, you know i'll i'll tell the fact one of the student of uh, the class she was trying from last four attempts uh, four years sorry not four attempts also four years but uh, she has cleared this examination and i was happy because she has messaged me and i was really very happy because she was the one who was from day one following everything so you have to really give time to yourself and consistency also uh okay welcome uh, which book to prefer 
you i will not tell any book because all books if you see have content pasted the content from the internet only so whatever book you have right now yamuna you concentrate on that book and you if you want you can please concentrate on the video lectures yes but follow someone see if you don't like my lectures whoever you lectures you like no please follow that lectures keep a consistency you will definitely see a change in yourself and if kvs madan book you have that book is also enough you know uh, it's enough for your preparation one book and one mentor it will really change your life believe me and that's that's what you have to keep in mind uh got uh, okay so shreya your paper one needs to you know uh, work hard a lot okay fine so you people can take a screenshot of this and keep and as i said after the class you can please try to attempt the questions which we have uh, uploaded on app there is no cost for that it is free of cost you can go and check so today's lecture you will understand what level of preparation you have to do and how you have to be very much alert okay at the same time paper 2 notes with reference to management commerce and economics we have along with video lectures uh, we have practice papers also and no uh, mock test also this cost is 5000 but if you are taking this paper 1 will be free still if you have any detail or any queries or anything you can get in touch with the given whatsapp number and just little bit sorry today for the technical glitch in the start but anyways 9 o'clock sharp tomorrow also do not miss tomorrow's lecture if you want to have uh, uh, this one i mean to say if you want to know models of communication in one go you have to ensure that you have to attend the lecture tomorrow without fail okay sharp at 9 pm and don't worry even if there is something i will sort it out and sure ensure that sharp at 9 i am live okay so thank you very much everyone we do have gujarat set west bengal set k set ap set preparation also with the help of mock test solution with answers notes 2500 mcqs and video lectures whatsapp numbers are given you can get in touch you can go and check on the app today's lectures questions which will help you out to prepare yourself best okay so yes that's all for the day thank you everyone and see you tomorrow sharp at 9 pm thank you everyone